जय हिंद जय भारत टू ऑल माई लविंग चिल्ड्रेन जॉइन मी इन माई क्लास टूडे आई एल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द चैप्टर अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्रस्ट आई हैड लेफ्ट यू एक्सप्लेनिंग द थर्ड पैराग्राफ टूडे आई एल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द वर्ड मीनिंग ऑफ द थर्ड पैराग्राफ and then i'll be discussing the question answer i don't know whether i'll get time today i have planned a very uh, uh i mean you would enjoy it uh, uh activity for you people so if i get time you will be uh i mean going through the activity today neither in the next class i'll be continuing it right children so a quick recap The story is an interesting and a thrilling one where Victor Canning has portrayed the life story of a thief named Horace Danby who was 50 years old but unmarried he by profession he used to mend locks and he had two helpers with him am right na no? Yes. What more? He had a peculiar passion of reading rare and expensive books. It's not a, the passion was not peculiar, children. But to keep up his passion, he used to take up a very peculiar thing. Once in a year, acha, he used to have restore a very a reputed uh, position in the society nobody knew that once in a year he used to go for a burglary of a safe and with that money he used to buy the rare and expensive books right so this was all about in the story ha huh? more thing when he used to burgle a house he used to read that house study that house for two weeks he used to uh, uh learn all the ways and parts to intrude inside the house he used to make he used to get familiar with the pets he used to know about when the um, servants used to move in or move out from that house so he planned for a burglary and when he went there he met a lady in red who proved to be the owner of the house but he is deceived he was also a uh, she was also a thief like him right so let us start from which paragraph the word meanings of the third paragraph so open your textbooks till the third paragraph i'll be sharing the ppt right children yes there i am doorway doorway means an entrance to a room or building through a door ornaments a thing used or serving to make something look more attractive but usually having no particular practical practice purpose especially a small object such as figure amused finding something funny or entertaining hesitated pause in indecision before saying or doing something frighten make someone afraid or anxious persuaded induce someone to do something or reason or argument now children in class what i used to do i used to take a test on your new words and the meanings isn't it and this way used to learn your new words 
now we uh, we cannot continue that activity now so you can ask your mother or anybody in the house who is elder to you to conduct such tests in the at home only your it is um, a request to the elders of your home to conduct tests class i mean very short test say about 10 marks test the word meanings and then the the new words spellings with the word meanings as we used to practice in our classrooms so that if your elders help you to conduct such tests at home then you would keep on learning the new words you would be in the practice your practice won't break you won't stop right so please please try to arrange such activities and let me know and let me th know through your conversation box that yes ma'am we have already done it we are doing it i have scored this much marks i have scored this much yes ma'am so please do share all these things with me because at times i miss you people you know i miss you people i mi i just i'm always in a thought that whether i'm able to get connected with you people whether you're understanding the chapters children please take the study seriously if you're not please get connected to me say ma'am i'm not understanding i'm always there for you people right so we'll start with the fourth paragraph you have to go through the paragraph the woman picked up a cigarette box made of silver and took out a cigarette horace thought that if he pleased her then she might help him so he quickly removed his gloves and gave her his cigarette lighter then he asked her that would she let him go and pointed the lighter towards her cigarette she replied yes she would let him go but not but only if he would do something that she wanted horace quickly replied that he would do anything for her the lady said that before going to london she had promised her husband that she would put all the jewelry in the bank but left it in the safe at the grid she had to go to a party now but had forgotten the code of the locker horace said that he would do it but he would have to break the locker to which she replied that he need not worry about that as her husband one return uh, won't return in a month time and she would get it repaired repaired by then okay she uh, she said she narrated a story saying that she had missed the key and so he was expect she was expecting horace to open the lock as she forgot the number and she forgot the keys also and she said that please break the safe and his uh, her husband uh, he'll be he won't be returning within one month so she would have enough time to repair the lock horace broke broke open the safe within an hour he, he was an expert i told you children before and gave her the jewels and left happily thinking that he was safe now for two days he kept his promise to the lady that he won't steal but on the third day he thought about the books that he wanted to buy and started thinking that he would 
have to look for another locker to steal from. He couldn't even get time. <coughs> Sorry. He couldn't even get time to plan the next robbery as he was arrested. A police officer came to his house and arrested him as his fingerprints were all over the shot over garage. No one believed him when he said that the owner wife had asked him to open the safe. Now the actual owner, the actual wife who was 60 years old woman, she was a sharp tongued woman. She said that she doesn't have a trust of faith on whatever Horace said because according to her she was speaking all nonsense. Because she had never met Horace. Not to think of asking him to break open the safe. This means that the young woman who had asked Horace to open the safe had pretended to be the owner wife. And actually she was a thief. Then Horace became the assistant librarian in the jail. Now, Horace was, after two days, the police investigated and pushed Harris behind the bars. Right. And there he served as an assistant librarian at the jail and thought about the woman who, being from the same profession, tricked him and got him caught. So what did I say at the starting of the chapter? Never to trust a person within a second. You should have, you should give some time to judge a person. Okay. He felt really angry when someone talked about honor among thieves. Now what are the new words from this paragraph? Jewels, a precious stone, mended, repair, something that is broken or damaged. Charming, very pleasant or attractive. Profession, a paid occupation, especially one that involves prolonged training and a formal qualification. Sharp-tongued, this is a characteristic of a person. Given to using cutting harsh or critical language. Honor, high respect, great esteem. Hay fever. Now here are the new words. I have taken out some new words which I felt which I liked myself. Ah, hay fever. A fever due to allergy. Expensive means costly. Burglar. Alarm, alarm bell to indicate buggle, sneeze to bring out breathing, air forcefully, bowl, container, tickle, sensation. Right? So, that's all for the chapter. I think you have understood the chapter. You have understood the explanation of the chapter. Now children, I would give you some time to go through the whole of the chapter today. Okay? I'll be here with you. I'll be joining you after this in your WhatsApp live group. Or uh, if you want to write your queries, you can write it to me. And... Uh, I will be clearing your queries, right? And I think you have gone through the chapter, the whole chapter which I have taught you. Please go through the chapter again and again. Try to understand the explanation. And in the next class, I'll be continuing with the question answer, right? 
Till then, goodbye. I'll be joining you in the WhatsApp group after this. Jai Hind, stay safe.